Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year's very soon. And to me, happy birthday. It's my birthday, December 22nd. And uh, in the spirit of my father, who always, uh, who had a reputation of giving to others on his birthday, I'd like to give to you, my friends of the inner circle, a big thank you. Uh, my appreciation, because um, you provide me with ears to hear my message, and you provide me with uh, a community that I can share with and grow with. You know, I really want to say thank you for signing to my mailing list. I want to say thank you for watching this video, and thank you for being you. So like to share a little bit about my life and, and I have a gift I'd like to give you in the form of an idea and I'll get to that in just a minute. At this time of year, almost every year without fail, for some reason I manage to feel good. It's my birthday, Christmas is three days away, but usually right up until this point, you know, until like the day or the day before, there's some sort of like build up and you know like for example I had a, a recital on Saturday with my students so you know there's some anxiousness to make sure everything goes properly and uh, some other things going on in my life that you know required a lot of effort but now today I, you know I'm a bit more relaxed and um, I intend to slow down this week for the holiday season because it's important for me as a human being to slow down sometimes to slow down and to reflect. And that's what I want to suggest to you guys too. You know, this is what I plan to do this week and I, and I would like to recommend it for anyone who's into it is take some time and really think about how much you have grown from this time last year to now and write it down. Or if you're not the type who writes it down then just think about it, but spend some time, like really put aside, okay, I'm going to take a 10 minute walk or a half hour walk and only think about this, whatever you need to do. But really give yourself credit for how much you've grown. Um, and don't, please don't berate yourself, which I might, you know, be in the habit of doing personally. Don't beat yourself up. Give you credit, give credit where it's due. You know, for example, I uh, set a goal of having three books written this year. Actually, it was four books it was my goal. Ambitious guy, you know, and I, I released one book, but which was, uh, you know, coming from last year, I actually wrote it last year, but I released it this year. And I basically wrote the second one, just didn't even publish it. And uh, I only made one out of four of my goal. But I still have to really give myself credit for that one book because that was not easy. And that was something I was struggling with for a long time. So I'm going to redetermine a more healthy goal this year, more achievable, perhaps two books um, and uh, instead of four, and really seek to make that happen. Now, um, but I got to give myself credit for getting that one out there. And also I had a goal of losing some weight and getting to 155 because at this time last year I was feeling a bit chunky and I've actually surpassed that goal. I, I got to 145, but it was because I became diabetic. <laughs> so I, but I, so I don't exactly feel I need to give myself credit for losing weight, but I do feel that I have to acknowledge that I reached that goal and, um, would, despite the way I came about reaching it, I, I did actually achieve it, and I should be happy about that, and of course, do the right thing for my body as well, and, you know, continue to take care of myself. <clears throat> you know, so when you have those goals that you didn't quite achieve, or you only achieved a percentage of it, give yourself credit for that percentage, please. And, and really, and, and even if you lost a job, or if you lost uh, a loved one, or, or something... Uh, in a way that doesn't look like you've really achieved something or you didn't grow. I assure you there's growth there. In loss, there's a tremendous amount of growth. It might not be that you 
you know, became financially richer. It might not be, might not look on the outside like growth, but when you actually look deep inside, you realize that you've grown as a person, more mature. Uh, maybe you know what you want better now. Maybe your compassion has stretched because you can understand other people suffering more. This is growth, and this is really worth noting and worth celebrating in ourselves. Uh, another point that I'd like to share is that right now we're in a really dark time. You know, uh, our society, you know, cops getting shot, ordinary people getting shot, uh, a lot of fear, you know, a lot of people out of, out of work and stuff like that. And we, you know, we have a choice. We can uh, let society, the changes of society affect our lives and run our lives, or we can choose to create change in society and be a part of that. So I really encourage you all along with me to, to create the change that we want to see in the world, to be the person that we wish our neighbor was. If we, if our, if we're upset at our neighbor or somebody in our family, don't look at them and think what's wrong with them. Look at them and say, okay, that person's suffering with something. And I'm going to be the example. I'm going to be the person that they look to one day and say, wow, that guy's, well, that girl's really got the right idea. You know, he or she cares about himself, herself, and he or she cares about other people and is living in a sustainable, healthy way. And that's an inspiration. So, you know, let, let's really do our best to look at ourselves, please. Not others. No judgment. And, uh, but, you know, continue to challenge ourselves to grow. That's my message today. So please realize how precious your life is. Your life is so precious. You only get one of them, right? I mean, I'm a Buddhist. I believe that there are many lives, but... But as John Henry Sheridan, I know there's only one. And I got to make that count. So every day. And, you know, not an arrogant, egotistical, look at me, I'm so cool way, which I previously kind of thought was important when I was younger, but um, more like, man, can I create value today? Can I be happy? Can I enjoy life? You know, like that. You know, and when you enjoy life on a deep level, it resonates and all the people around you can feel it and you enrich their lives without even opening the door. You know, neighbors, they just feel your vibration and they get a pleasant thought or, you know, they just feel a little more at peace because of your existence. So keep giving off those good vibes, man. Keep giving yourself credit for the steps that you take in your life to grow. Acknowledge yourself, pat yourself on the back. Take a breather once in a while. That's what I'm going to do this, this week. And give what you can to the world because it'll come right back to you tenfold. Don't be afraid to give, please. And uh, you've given me so much by just listening. So really, thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. So leave a comment in the video or email me personally at johnhenrysheridan at gmail.com. Uh, and uh, we'll be in touch. And one last thing. I'd like to encourage you, this New Year's Day, rather than waking up with a hangover and thinking, oh man, I don't want to get up and see my family members today. Uh, I feel like crap. Why not land on the ground running on New Year's Day? Like you've already taken steps in the past week or two, the end of December, to really set yourself up so that January 1st, you're already on the ground running towards your goals of 2015. So that's really why I encourage you to, you know, celebrate your the past year now and actually really think about what you didn't achieve that you'd like to achieve next year, redetermine, set those goals, and and start taking action right away so that on January 1st, you can actually be on the ground running towards the goals of 2015, not like getting off to like dragging yourself out of bed and finding the motivation to start running. Finally, by February, you feel a little bit like you want to start walking. And then in the spring, you start running towards the goals and you're, you're way behind your, your ideal. So of course, 
we're all human. We, we do things at different times and we have different schedules and different rhythms in our life. But if you're willing to take my challenge, start January 1st. You're already running. You don't have to, to wake up and, and then start walking and stretching and running in spring. You're already running by January 1st. So that has, in order for that to take place, we have to start reflecting and making goals in the next two weeks. So, or we can have. So anyway, please consider it. Thank you again so much for listening. And have a wonderful holiday season and new year. Ciao.